I suspect I shouldn't ask. You suspect correctly. Morning. Oh, just help yourself. You think I need to ask for permission? Clearly not. However... No. This doesn't warrant a conversation. Not while you're moving your assets around. So I didn't see it coming, but there were witnesses. We finally have Marlon's blessing. And there wasn't any small print. What were you like as a little boy at Christmas 007, hmm? Look, little Graham, Santa's been and he's brought you your favourite action man. I mean, did you even crack a smile? It's great news about Leo. Merry Christmas. Whatever's troubling you, you can tell me that too. Stick to chess, Rana. Poker's not your game. Of course, it's good news. It's just... Kim thinks otherwise. Really? Before, when she was in Marlon's ear and I pulled her up on it, she... She just said some things. What kind of thing? It wasn't exactly a threat, but it just felt like one. Kim knows how to find buttons and when to press them. Yeah, well, she's certainly pressed mine. Hoping to get a reaction, but we don't give her one. What we do is go and get Leo and take him out. Just the three of us. Just the three of us. I like the sound of that. You know what, I just... I'm too old to be playing well, games, man. OK, so don't mess about, right, asking how she feels. Just make it clear how you feel, mate. Eh? Ask her out. We'll find out one way or another. Hey! Looks like fun. No. Oh. Taking bets. If so, my money's on Leo. Yeah, well, I think he'd rather just jump straight in. Yeah, so would Pete. Yeah. For very different reasons. <laughs> when we were kids, me and my brother used to spend hours doing this. <laughs> Never get bored. Simple things. Mm, simple times. An escape was still possible. What? Kim would appreciate if all staff could meet at the pub for a celebratory drink. She must have an announcement for me. Any idea? I'm sure it won't be missed. I don't jump through her hopes well, anymore. you have to go. I mean, it's obviously important. Yeah, I suppose so. Can we uh, meet at the park? I could come along too, offer you a little bit of moral support. I could drop Leo off at Daddy Paddy's just for an hour. He'd love that. Mm. What has Kim got to celebrate? I don't know, but anything but her imminent demise would be a huge, huge disappointment. Just like to thank everybody for coming here at such short notice today. And, uh, ah, ladies and gentlemen, the guest of honour has finally arrived. So, everybody, raise a glass to myself and Graham. Please join us in celebrating our wedding anniversary. <coughs> Cheers. Don't tell me you've forgotten. That hurts. I don't actually believe this. Can you believe this? And I thought I'd have bad anniversaries. <laughs> you don't know the whole truth. OK, so you haven't got me a present. I suppose I'll just have to settle for a kiss. That's not a happy marriage, is it? Nobody wants a situation. Don't give me an excuse. Rona. I'll finish you. And people told me he wasn't marriage material. Rona, please. Come on, you know what she was trying to do. This is what she wants. Tell me she's lying. Rona, please. Tell me she's lying. Right. So what am I then? In this total freak show, what am I? You're everything to me. She, it was purely a business arrangement, nothing more. Do you really think I'm that stupid? You know what? Maybe I am. No, you're not. If I had seen that coming... Do you know, I have tried so hard to get my head around you and her and your special arrangement, your messed up, dysfunctional, whatever the hell it was, is... It was nothing. But it is, isn't it? Because you're married! So come on, then. What was the ceremony like, eh? Tell me about her dress. What about the buffet? No, you What? What am I being? Flippant? Unreasonable? I told you. No. No, you didn't tell me. That's the point. But what a way to find out, eh? Let's just go. I 
I don't want to do this now, OK? I feel sick. I can't get on like this. But there's nothing else to say. So go back to your wife and your your weird, dysfunctional life. Of course you're going to be angry. You're going to be upset. Not even close. But you, me and Leo... I... Marlon! I knew what you were. This is between me and Rona, not you. Leave me alone, Graham. What? Please don't make things any worse. Marlon! Where is she? Look, I know he must be upset. Where is she? Why, so he could do something stupid? No. Something long overdue. This is not going to end well for anyone. For you? For anyone. Look, I know what she did was sick, but you're not going to fall for a trap, are you? I thought you were cleverer than that. You're just watching your own back, Andrew. Don't present it as anything else. So, uh, I was thinking, maybe next time we should renew our vows. When you're a very old lady, breathing your last breath, wondering where it all went wrong, today, today is where it all went wrong. Say that again and I'll try and keep a straight face. <laughs> Was it the venue? It's the only place I could get at such short notice. Do you really want to do this now? Look, you should be a Rona. You should have divorced me the second your probation finished. That was your first mistake. How can you talk divorce on our anniversary? I mean, have you no heart? Our agreement is over. It's done. Now, I want half of everything, and I mean everything. Things you didn't even know you own. Andrea? I think Graham may have stopped taking his medication. I'll fight you all the way. And I uh, like a fight. <laughs> Even one you could never win. This is ridiculous. You've served your purpose, Graham. And it was fun. But I was always going to get bored of that brooding little butler thing. Now, what you need to do is take the money we agreed, say thank you, and run along with your tail between your legs and live drunkenly unhappy ever after with your drug-addict vet and her child. <laughs> what a lovely little tragic family. Flesh and blood. Hm. Means so much to you now, doesn't it, Kim? Graham. You want tragic? How about the rich old lady not knowing her precious little granddaughter isn't really her own flesh and blood? That sounds a lot worse. I know what you're doing. You really think I'm gonna bite? Yes, because the seed's been planted. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have chosen my words a little more carefully. Oh, this is not going to solve anything. No, but it's not about damage limitation now. Of course she's my granddaughter. And if we have to do a test to prove it... Your poor stupid Sonny doesn't know either, but now you do. Liar! And you'd grown so close to her, hadn't you? But Millie isn't Jamie's daughter. She's mine. The apple of my eye. 